there it is. Not too great of a job, but uh, at least it's good and solid. Shouldn't leak. I got a couple, maybe three little pin holes in it. One back there, maybe four. That's looks pretty good from this angle I do have a little low spot in it but better be a little low than too high all in all it's a much better than it was I'm not real proud of it but is what it is. At least I can bondo it up and you'll never really be able to tell it was there. And I ground this all down. It looks like it's rusted pretty good here and uh, and then right in this area and they had a lot of bondo on it so don't look like anybody tried to fix this look like they just bondled it up and looking from the back side I, mean, I coated a piece under there with uh, some of that uh, Eastwood uh, rust converter and then primed it with rust paint so I think this will be good for the back end. Now I can sort of get the uh, get my body work done on this panel. It's getting dark now, but I can do that tomorrow. For now, it's good enough. Well, my little valence piece here, I got it welded. I'm bundling it up. That side is straight from the bumper hole to the center. So that's what I'm trying to do with this one. Make it straight to the center. Didn't have to grind a lot on it because it's all low. And I had a lot of bondo on here. You can see it's at least a quarter of an inch. So grinding it takes forever and it puts dust everywhere so what I did I just used a propane torch and heated it up and scrape it off a little and you can see there this is maybe half hours work and I got this uh, I don't know why they put so much on it. Looks like it's got a pretty big den in it. The bottom piece is pretty straight. I don't know why they didn't just knock it out. You can get to it real easy. You can see it move there, just pushing on it. So, anyway, I'm gonna get all this bondo off of here. That's a lot. It's uh, not real fast. I just used a wood chisel and uh, but you heat it up and it uh, comes off pretty good. At least I can scrape all this heavy stuff off of here and get it down to the to the metal. I don't really want to be try sanding on this. Uh, patch I had here until I do get it down to the metal anyway I'm just going to try to clean this up and squirt a little primer on it for right now picked up a nail and had it flat uh, so now I'm going to start sanding this piece straight and uh, <coughs> try to get that lower 
valence to fit here. This is just the first coat. So it looks pretty good. I think I will be able to sand it down and put my curves in it there where the license plate holder goes and get it pretty straight all across here to where the valence fits flat against it. Now once I got that then I can work on the valence a little and make sure it's is straight and flat. So now into Bondo sanding. Here's the result of some of my efforts. Probably got a half a quart of bundle down there. Uh, this is all pretty much into the metal. Oh, it's in here. You can see where the bundle cracked, rusted through here. And it's all off pretty much. At least around in this area so what I'm going to try to do it's actually I could probably keep this bondo on here but uh, I want to get it one even color and stuff so I can see where the where the metal is supposed to be it's got a pretty straight line right here uh, I don't know why they decided to put a quarter inch bondo on the whole thing when you can get to it and beat it out real easy so anyway, I'm going to get that straightened out, and um, that way it'll be good, it'll match this patch piece here. So that's all I'm going to do, it's going to get dark pretty soon, so what I'm going to do is just uh, clean this off, and I'm going to paint it with some of that rust stop primer, and uh, see what it looks like. Here we are again. I squirted some uh, primer on that just to see where I was at. And uh, you can see I got most of it off. Uh, a little bit more heat. And uh, but this is that that much to grind off is no big deal at all. And uh, hopefully they didn't go too far with it. It looks like it probably through this whole section here could have been because of that stripe we'll see how much is on it but I can see now that uh, I need just that little tail piece and you cut it out a little bit and move it in um, I'll straighten the bumper out first but anyway it's uh, down to the metal pretty much and this I straightened up pretty good. I put some bondo in there and put a straight edge on it. And now I put the, the valence on it. Now you can see it matches good over here. A little bit low spot, but it looks like this has been caved in a little. So I'm going to try to pound that out some. And I got it straight across there. And you can see that it goes straight across on that side. So. This one's got a gap in it, a quarter of an inch. Well, I need to build it up, but at least I can see what I'm working with here. And uh, I got more of a job of, you know, straightening this stuff up and getting the bondo off than I have to worry about this thing here. It's under the bumper anyway. Uh, I got most of my dents beat out of this. And uh, I can clean that up, and that's what I was after. It just looked so bad, this piece hanging down there all beat up. And, and then I had to fix this, but that's fine. I'll knock that one out a little bit. Try to straighten up that. This thing don't look like it. You know, they could have used a sixteenth of an inch of Bondo on that body line there and made it straight. Why they decided to cover the whole fucking thing with a quarter inch of bondo, I'll never know. Anyway, looks a lot better with the original shape on it. This will be good. I can clean this up good and paint it real well. My paint's supposed to be here today. So, maybe when I get this off of here and cleaned and primered real good, I'll use my epoxy primer on this stuff here because it's going to get the the paint 
but I can do this one piece good enough for paint pretty easily uh, then I can put the bumper on it and drive it around and worry about the rest of it later I don't know we'll see anyway body works about 95 percent done a little bit of a gap down in there part of this too it's not really bolted on good yet but I'll get it straight in the beginning this luckily didn't hardly have anything in it no, I'm really surprised how straight it is no dance even around it uh, a little bit right there in the middle but you know metal straight as hell I don't know why anybody would put that much bottle on a car Anyway, another pretty good day's work. Moving along on this thing. Hopefully the other side won't be too bad. But this one I know had a lot of bondo on it. 